Hello, my name is Ewan McAndrew and this is the first part of a two-part guide about how to edit Wikipedia using Wikipedia's new visual editor interface. If you need to pause the video at any point during the recording, uh, then please do so. Uh, there will, we will be creating a user page which will show you the basics of how to edit Wikipedia. So the first thing we need to do is to open up our internet browser. Now I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but other browsers are equally good. So once we've got our browser open, we're going to do a search for Wikipedia. And first hit, click on it. And now we're on Wikipedia's first front page. Once we're on the front page, uh, we now need to create our account. So I'm going up to the top right hand corner and clicking on create account. Okay, now I have an account called Stinglehammer, but I'm going to create a new one so that you can see exactly all the steps involved in creating a new account. So we need to create a username and it's up to you whether you want it to be your real name or something a bit more abstract, a pseudonym. Uh, both are equally fine. So create a username and a password. Put your password in again. And you can put your email address if you like, but this is optional. And it might ask you to put in some capture text just to confirm you are not a computer. So hopefully that's right and I can create my account. There we are. Now, it's already come up with a suggestion. No thanks, maybe later. Okay, now that we've created our account, we can see at the top of the page there is a link in red called you in red and that's my user page. Uh, the, if there is a red link as we have for you in vid and talk and sandbox it means that that page doesn't exist as yet. Um, to create those pages we have to go in add a bit of text and then they will turn to blue clickable links once we've saved them. So before we do that we need to make sure that the visual editor interface is enabled as it's not enabled by default and to make sure that the visual editor is enabled we go to preferences at the top right preferences click on that okay and now we're in the preferences menu see username uinvid and i can go into the editing tab third one along and once I'm in the editing tab what I need to check is this last tick box where it says temporarily disable the visual editor while it is in beta now we want that to be unticked so if it has a tick remove that tick because we want the visual editor to be enabled okay. once you've unticked that last box then we need to look at that drop down menu under beneath it and we want to change that to show me both editor tabs so the tick box should be unticked and the drop down menu should say show me both editor tabs if you've got that great you're ready to move on if you don't have the drop down menu don't worry about it just make sure that that tick box is unticked and then we're going to go down to the bottom left corner to save our preferences click on it save okay that means that we should now have access to two kinds of wikipedia editor the source editor which is the old-fashioned wikipedia editor um, which has a lot of markup language and the easier, newer visual editor interface, which is a lot more like uh, you may be used to if you have ever done any blogging. 
So now that we've changed the preferences, we can go and create our first user page. Clicking on our name link at the top. So all I've done there is clicked on the red link for my username, just where my cursor is. Just clicking on that has taken me to this page. And if you've got that, all you need to do now is click on this first bullet point start the user page so it says start the user you invid page your page will say something different because you'll have a different username so I'm going to click that first link ah, and then it's offering me the chance to switch to the visual editor but I don't want to do that just yet so I'm going to click the bottom option which says start editing Now, hopefully you're on the same screen as me and you can see a pink bar at the top which says if you want to draft an article please create a user space draft instead of creating it here. And then below that we have a box. Now this box is the source editor. This is the markup editor. There are still a few things that the markup editor does better than visual editor but we can do just one thing in this editor and then we can move on to visual editor from here. All I want you to do is to type a bit of code that is two squiggly brackets. This is a new user and then two closing squiggly brackets. So if you've got the two squiggly brackets at the beginning, followed by this is a new user, and then two squiggly brackets at the end, that's all the code that we're going to do. If we've typed that in, let's scroll down the page to the bottom, and where it says edit summary, we're going to describe the change that we've just made to this page. So the change we've made is we've added a new user box and any time we make an edit to Wikipedia we describe what a change what the change has been to Wikipedia's page. So added a new user box. A new user so added a new user box. And that's all we want to type added a new user box. Once we've done that we can click save. Okay, and hopefully your page looks exactly like this. You've now got your username at the top and a box that says this user is new to Wikipedia. Please assume good faith, remain civil and be calm, patient, helpful and polite while he, she gets a customer to Wikipedia and its intricacies. Now all this is just so that if you make an edit that other users on Wikipedia know that you're not trying to make any mistakes uh, you're just learning the ropes and it's kind of like an L plate if you're you're just learning the ropes and it's up to you how long you keep that in on your user page you can remove it at any point so now that I've created my new user page and added that I am a new user by including that box I can add some details now it's up to you how much uh, of your own life you want to share on Wikipedia like most social media sites it's not necessarily a good thing to include too much personal details for example home address or bank account details but it's a, nice to sort of like share some information so people get an idea of who you are and what you're interested in working on within Wikipedia. So, but that's entirely up to you. So what I've done is I've created some text in Microsoft Word. Other word processing sites are available. And you can draft your user page or draft an article for Wikipedia 
in a word processing site and copy it across if you want, if that makes life easier for you. Or equally, you can just type straight into Wikipedia's draft space, uh, which is the sandbox, which I'll show you a bit later. But I've created some text here that I'm going to copy across using my cursor to highlight the text I want to take across. Okay, and I'm going to include all these details. It's up to you how much you include. So control C. So holding down control and pressing C, that copies the text. Go back to my browser. Now, copy and pasting is easier if you use the old source editor. So I'm going to click on edit source go into that source editor and there's the box and we're going to place our cursor underneath and press control V. Now all my text from the Word document has been pasted across and I've split all my details into paragraphs with a heading each time and that's very like how we structure a Wikipedia article splitting it into paragraphs, sections, and making sure there's a heading for each section. So I'm happy with that. I can click on show preview if I just want to double check how it's going to appear. And as it says, this is only a preview. Your changes have not yet been saved. But it's handy just to let me see how it would look once I did save it. And I'm OK with that just now because I can go in shortly to make some more changes. So I'm going to type in a little edit summary to describe the change. So added text to my user page. And every time we make a change on Wikipedia, we describe that change. Just a few words just to describe that change. Click Save. There. So here we have a user page with a new user box and some text. But it's all quite jumbled up and we need to separate it out. And now we're going to use Visual Editor to do that. So, so we're going to spend the first...